So you click in this because you probably want to know how to grow a business. I'm an investor, owner, operator in over 200 businesses at this point in my life. I've seen some of the portfolios that I've invested in grow exponentially to eight, nine, and 10 figures. And so that leads me to have the understanding of what it is that actually makes a business grow. Most people think sales makes a business grow. That's not gonna grow my business. I'm gonna be losing people just as fast as I can bring them in. Therefore, my business isn't growing, it's stagnant. It's not operations that makes your business grow because nobody's buying your stuff, then it doesn't do you any good. Maybe it's Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube videos like this. Maybe it's the marketing piece that makes a business grow. But I can be the greatest marketer in the world and get a shitload of leads if I don't have good salespeople or good staff in the back end. None of that's gonna matter because I'm gonna lose clients and I don't have anybody that can close them. So if you wanna know what makes a business grow, it's leadership and core values. Because without leadership and core values, business will have no value because it doesn't know what it values. Therefore, there's no valuation of the business. So how I made my business grow is first, I established the things that would make the business valuable because I've created this template for success and how to grow a business that's worked for me. But as a leader, you can't just say, here are our core values, have a nice day. That's not how this works. Instead, here are our core values, I'm gonna hold you accountable to them. And for me, that was responsibility, integrity, service, and excellence. That's RISE. It's a four letter acronym, responsibility. I wanna be responsible for my employees. I wanna be responsible for my clients. I wanna be responsible for the results that they desire. I wanna be responsible for helping them to get what they want. So that was something that I value. I value responsibility because the more I get, the more I can give. The next thing that needed to be a core value in my business in order for it to grow is integrity. I have a client named Kenny Baden. One time he came up to me and he asked for a picture and he said, hey man, my fiance said we should take a picture together. We took the picture, I don't think nothing of it. Three or four days later, he texts me, I gotta be honest, man. My fiance didn't ask for that picture. I wanted a picture. I don't even know why I said that. I just need to get it off my chest. That's a person of integrity. If my salesman tells a client that he's gonna give them XYZ bonuses, I'm gonna make sure we give them XYZ bonuses. I can't grow a business lying. How many people have you seen on the internet that lie, 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 they're not around anymore? Remember that, integrity over everything. The next thing is service, right? I'm here to serve clients. I'm here to serve my employees. I'm here to be a servant of those and a good and a good steward of those things for them. So to me, service means above and beyond. You know, it's one thing for you're out at dinner and you're eating and they come by and they're like, everything okay? Okay, great. It's another thing for them to come by and be like, I noticed you were out of tea. Here's a refill on tea. Would you like another lemon? Uh, actually, we have some great desserts that are coming in too. I'd be more than happy to go back there and get you one of them as well. You just let me know what you need. Going above and beyond makes a difference. How many times have you been out to eat and you see a waiter or a waitress that does go above and beyond? You're like, I need to hire somebody like that in my business. But on the flip side, how many times do you go out and you just see people doing the minimum? They're not serving you. They're there serving a dollar to get a paycheck. So if I'm gonna have a valuable business and, and I'm gonna grow a business, then I gotta be a servant of the people who do business with me. And lastly, is excellence. Look, excellence isn't synonymous with perfection. I'm not saying you gotta be perfect, you can't fuck up. We're all gonna miss the mark, we're all sinners, we're all gonna make mistakes. But here's the beautiful thing, excellence is committing to doing the work and doing it right. And guess what, if you commit to excellence, you'll do the work, you'll do it right, and then you'll get better. And then you'll do that even better and get it right, and then do it better, and do it better, and you will continue getting better until it is almost perfect, because you've committed to excellence. As a leader, we have to hold people to our value. If I establish these are my values, I can't have motherfuckers that don't have integrity working for me. I can't have motherfuckers that aren't grateful working for me. I can't have a group of people in my life that aren't committed to this shit. This is not negotiable. These are my values, my company values, and I will govern according to them. Because that's what leaders do. They hold people accountable because when you get correction, you get direction. It's leading them to have the same values you have, therefore creating a valuable company, and that's how you make a business grow. Rise above.